Huh, you really say? Mister, are you okay? Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> I'll be fine in a minute. I'm fine. Nearly there, just around this corner. Now you head in there, friend. Go on. Help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <laughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Doctor Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. Say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And You'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well... Like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well... Yeah, well, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today.
<clears throat> Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Went over to the market and they tried charging me a yeah. Mr. Bullard. Ah, oh, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope um, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. One hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Oh. My God. Yes. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Whoa there. No need to go any higher. They got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God.
Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. Please hurry. Maybe try looking lower down. I can't believe we're doing this. Is that some people just down from where you're looking? Mr. Bullard, you can get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey! Sit! Just my feet. Oh. Oh, 
This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. White. You okay there? Three, four. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here 
and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those Oilian actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my... My final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in surviving than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What's our move here? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your bag to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to, and I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that away. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Pearson? Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. Okay. Butcher Creek is a few miles upriver. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rain's Fall and Eagle Flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. Just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Butcher Creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. All right, let's walk it from here. 
Good evening. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? You'll get away if you know what's good for you. Come on, they're not gonna help us. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road here. Can you help us? We're trying to find a spot called Beaver Hollow. We don't take kind of outsiders around here. Murphy Hills, stranger. Might watch where you wander. It's a bit of a walk. We could grab those horses if you want. We probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. Come on now. Follow me, stay quiet. Come on. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. Hold up, hold up. I'm not even it. Already, for Christ's sake. Oh, why don't you Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Well, how about I do the skinning? Then who do the carrying? Here is. What are you waiting for? Good job. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What do you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Come 
Let's get that poor girl out of the cage. No, no, no! no. Don't touch me! We ain't gonna hurt you. Please don't kill me. It's okay, miss. Stay away from me. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. You're safe. It's okay. It's time to go. It's okay. Okay. Let's go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? You take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Place is yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, man. Mom! Mom! Meredith! Yes. She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy Brew got her. Oh, my darling. How did you manage uh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Okay. Thank you. That's mighty kind of you. This is death? Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone! Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Mike can find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dodge! Did you miss me? I found her drunk in Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God Almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored, Dutch Vanderlyn. I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't his stooges. Calm yourself. You don't know me, nothing. Miss. I don't know you, nothing. Nothing. Okay. I spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told him, I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> no, me. You're you not betrayed so big now, me. What? Right. Calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Take her. 
She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you! Quit your lollygagging! Right. Get back to work! Yeah.